So I'm not just going to sit here and throw stuff. Convention, at, the RN, at, the, at the Republican National Convention, they came together on the stage on the last night, and you said that you could see the vibes and everything. I didn't see them. And I've been married. I was married for 20 years. So you mean so to tell me. All right, let's go with this for a moment. And here's the other thing, Brian. Oh, hold on. Here's let me comment thing. on that. I'll let you continue. Huh. I'm not hanging up on you. Let me just respond to what you just said. First of all, she was in New York City during his trial. She didn't show up one day to his trial. Number two, she's seen around New York City carrying these thirty, forty thousand dollars handbags around. And she's not with him on the campaign trail. Any reasonable person, even Republicans that I've spoken to, would admit that they are not a loving couple. They're not in the same room together. They're in separate states. She can't stand them. It's a contractual marriage. And any reasonable person could come up with that. Now, also look at Donald Trump's history and the way he's treated women, the way he talks about women. Okay. So, I mean, there's so much ammo. Well, and, we, and you're not calling her, you're not calling him a whore. Or no, the male I'm not. Equi- or the male equivalent. We're, the, the, on, the, on the other side, they're alleging she is a whore. I'm having a conversation with a good Republican friend of mine, very close friend, and he brings up, oh, I heard she was loose with the boys. What, you're just calling her a whore. We're talking about issues and you're calling- Let me ask- that's what you throw in. I agree, Eliana. Let me ask her well, a question. Well, I don't. I haven't heard anybody call so her. So say oh, saying. I've heard really because I see it, it and hear it all I the time. I just played audio. I haven't heard anybody. Call I her just her played I audio in it's... the first. Hold on. I just played audio, Herb, in the first segment of people calling her a hoe at the rally. There are people with shirts that wear "Get rid of Joe and the O." There are actually Donald Trump is the one that talked about Willie Brown, although he brought up a really weird. Uh, story about going down in a helicopter with Willie Brown. We know that didn't happen. I that was Willie a lie. Brown's reaction but to that. this isn't being put forth, uh, you know, by made up people. There are people on the right that are saying she slept her way to the top, including a local conservative bigot radio host in Las Vegas who said she's made a career out of lying on her back. It happens all the time. Now, let me ask you a question, Herb. When you look at Kamala Harris and her husband, and then you look at Donald Trump, and his wife, which couple do you think is more of a couple that has a strong, loving relationship? Brian, okay, first of all, let me just say this. Why won't you answer? Uh, uh, Melania Trump does not like the limelight. but I didn't ask you about that. That wasn't the question whether she liked the limelight. Yes, she does. Let me ask you a question. Why don't you answer my question before you ask me a question? I'm going to ask it again. Hold on. No, no, no. I'm going to ask it again because you didn't answer it. Hold on. Let's. I'm going to answer it now. I'm going to answer it right now. Okay. There's no way I can tell whose relationship and what their relationships are like. You know, as far as Kamala Harris and her husband, they might. Are okay, hold on. Per- okay, first of all, we we're, we're we're getting away from the issue of that. The like she is Harris is being called a whore. Trump is we're just looking at Trump going, yeah, they don't like each other. That is totally opposite. And you you okay, can't but, you can't but, say you it's the same going, thing. Yeah. Are you you're you're calling you're calling we're so not are you going hey, to people at not, the rally? We're, we're not going and saying, right, oh, Melania Trump's a, a prostitute. We're just saying, like, they don't look happy. Okay, Herb, let me go back to something really totally quickly different. here. Kamala Harris is a stepmom of two kids, and the actual mother has had nothing but kind things to say about Harris and the way she's helped raise those two children. And, they and are, hold good. on, they that's are a good. very close knit family. Okay. And for whatever reason, you're not willing to admit and you're not seeing what everyone else can see is that Melania wants nothing to do with Donald Trump. Don't say everyone else. Say that you and other people may feel that way. That doesn't mean everyone else, Brian. Can you name me one prominent prominent person? Name me one prominent person that thinks that Melania Trump is in love with Donald Trump. Name me one that that thinks that way. Brian, listen. (laughs) Yeah, exactly, because you can't. I can name you a hundred Republicans that think it's a contractual marriage. But again, marriage. we're not we're not calling her a whore like they're calling Harris a whore. Yeah, and the no, attack. And I don't we're think not, anybody we're not... should call. I don't think anybody should call Kamala Harris a whore. But We've you, been, you made it right. But, listen, here's but you the made thing. that an equal. I'm not you made that rally. an equal issue. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go to a rally 
and hear a few people that are just common voters, and then they they characterize her as the whole. No, there's me. No, sorry. No, 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 no. You are wrong. No. Hold on. I, I understand, uh, Ileana, what you're saying here. There's there are memes, memes on social there, media okay, it being, is, being, being It is shared. all over social media. There are also prominent Republicans, even a guy sharing it named in Las Vegas. And I'm going to say his name because I don't care. His name is Wayne Allen Root, as I like to call him, Wayne Allen Cook. I He's, know you were going to okay? say that. <laughs> and, and guess what? Wayne on the air repeatedly has said that Harris got to where she is because she's been lying on her back. This is a man with multiple ex-wives, just like Donald Trump. But they attack women and they say, oh, well, she made it because she was lying on her back. And these are the same people that support a rapist. Let me say it again. Donald Trump is a liable, sexual abusing rapist who raped a woman in a dressing room. There are over 30 okay. women that have accused Donald Trump of sexual assault or rape, including his ex-wife, who has since passed away, in a deposition in court documents. But these are the same okay. people that want to go after Harris uh, at, because allegedly she had an affair with a man decades ago. She's a happily married woman. They are a loving couple with a close-knit family. And the relationship between Donald Trump and Melania Trump is clearly contractual. She's not even campaigning with him on tour. She's not even going up on stages <laughs> with him. But Brian, again, not the same. That, that doesn't mean they don't have 